Okay. Uh, let's see. Veer, why don't you fill us in on the viewer pipeline? Sure. So, let's see. Um, no new releases this week. Um, we have a couple of... Uh, couple of RCs that are potential um, candidates for going out as our next uh, as our next default viewer uh, camera presets is looking good um, the the last I saw that we had one open question with camera presets and I don't know if that's been sorted out yet but if we can get that sorted out um, that one might well go out next uh, let's see there's the let me render viewer which has a collection of Rendering awaited fixes and has run into some merge issues uh, pulling from EEP. So uh, that one's gotten set back a little bit. Um, thought of kind of redoing of the um, redoing of some of the commits. Um, so that one's probably not going to be going out right away. Um, let's see. We have uh, the next mate uh, uh, 501 still coming along well. Um, and we have an RC that has uh, an update to FMOD that should fix one of our most common causes of crashes. Um, so uh, good good uh, hopes for that one. Uh, just today we also had a new project viewer that went out. That's the mesh uploader improvements. Um, and so that's, that's something that's been plugging along in the background for a while, but it hasn't been in a publicly accessible form. Um, so that just went out today. It's got uh, some changes that uh, were contributed from Firestorm and also some uh, some local changes we've been making to try to make the mesh upload slightly more comprehensible. Um, I think making all of it super intuitive would be a much larger project, but I think this should at least be better than uh, currently. Um, interested in mesh upload, uh, check it out. Uh, and then we've got a few other things going on that are a little farther out. Um, we've got the build tools, uh, viewer, uh, we've got the compiler updates. Um, I think those are coming along, but I think we still have some uh, some issues to fix uh, with those. Um, I think that's about it. We're also trying to get a... Um, Trying to get a viewer put together that has um, that has the CEF updates um, in it. Uh, that will that will improve our ability to do various types of streaming, um, and so uh, you know live streams and that sort of thing. So uh, once we have that uh, in a in a uh, suitable form, that should be going out see as well. I think that's it. Beck says more things are working on. Is this related to the mesh uploader? Yeah. Okay. Cool. As as depending on when we get those, they might wind up in a in a different uh, different viewer. They might wind up in a, a future build of the mesh upload viewer. We'll see. So as you can tell, viewer uh, and his team have been busy and have got an awful lot to keep the pipeline going for quite some time, which is great. Uh, we have a couple of upcoming simulator developments or server side developments anyway that um, are of interest. Ryder, uh, there was the... Well, there, there, there are two. There is a fix coming out for the... Uh... For the date uh, on group notices next week, uh, that will be on the uh, on the RC on two of the RC channels. We're also going to be doing or allowing uh, uh, region owners and estate managers to set chat ranges on uh, on their regions. Um, the uh, um, the UI for in the viewer side will be uh, forthcoming. I've not organized. I've not organize that with Veer yet, but we will be, the the number is no longer going to be constant and we will be reporting it down to the viewers as part of the region information. 
So just just a just a heads up that 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 is coming because I know some viewers show chat ranges. Right. So when there's a when there's a simulator that does that does those changes, we'll let you know what its number is so that you can um, see the new message, the changes to the message, and the uh, and do anything you want to 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 uh, make sure that users understand what the ranges are. So uh, that's that's in the works, um, and we'll those those things will be appearing shortly. Um, real soon now. Yeah, real soon now. Trademark. Um, and uh, let's see. Uh, and of course, you saw our notice on the forum. I'm sure about the fact that we've had to stop selling land uh, for, or at least full regions, rather, I should say. Um, so uh, there's nothing wrong with actually moving ownership of land around. It's just that we can't start new regions now. Um, sorry about that. Um, all right. Uh, the floor is open. Questions, whatever. Kitty, oh, excuse me, I had just taken a bite of my sandwich. Um, Kitty, yes, that uh, the offline inventory bug, um, I also have a fix that will be out very soon now, probably sooner than the chat range. Yeah, it won't be won't be in the RCs next week. Um, it will not next week. I'm hoping for the week following. Well, we'll. Uh... That's the the goal for the for the for the next one. Uh, real soon now, but real soon now, but more real soon now are than uh, than chat ranges. Uh, what's the compiler version going to be on OS X? I can see if I can find that out, but since it's not a hundred percent working yet, the answer could change depending on how long it takes us and how fast Apple keeps releasing new versions of Xcode, um, which has been pretty frequent lately. Um, No, we're, we're definitely going to go ahead and release with VS 2017. I uh, don't want to restart this whole process again with VS 2019 when it's this close to shipping. Yeah, well, at some point we will start a VS 2019 project, and um, maybe by 2021 we'll have that done. I don't know. We'll see. But I, it's not kind of on the calendar yet. We want to finish the one we're doing. Yeah. It's actually mostly been some of the library changes that we were forced to make that have slowed things down. Actual compilers haven't been the problem. Okay, so uh, the answer to the Xcode question appears at the moment to be 11.3.1. Xcode 11.3.1. Um, we, it could go to 11.4, but 
Um, at the moment, that's not what we're building with. And if we can make the last couple of things work, we'll ship that. There are some other tool chain problems if you go to Catalina that we haven't finished solving and we're trying to just get something done and out the door. There are good reasons to get it, get it out there. Uh, okay. Uh, I, I think I just heard Ptolemy volunteer to do that, didn't it? Did anybody else hear that? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm reminded of the joke as any volunteers and everyone else steps backwards and the one guy doesn't. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> there you go. I, yep. I, I... That's exactly how this works. No one told you? <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, other, other questions, issues, announcements? What you got? Or do we get to start the weekend early? I just got a new Mac today. And the world does look better on it. It's cool. Apparently the defaults changed when I got this new, new thing. So you all look even better than usual. Well, um, if you guys, let's see, uh, is there anything else? I can't think of anything else we've got to say. So if you guys don't have anything, we can, uh, we can all knock off early. All right. See you folks. You missed Anastasia's question. Uh, which question? Did I miss someone? I, I think he ignored it more so than missed it. Oh. <laughs> that said, um, I don't think we've ever thought about doing this. No, I don't think so. I can't ever remember it coming up. If it were to come in as a feature request, we could think about doing it um, and consider the uh, different complications that would bring. But it's... It has the smell of one of those projects that have, would have a lot more corner cases than mm -hmm. it would have uh, potential users. Yeah, uh, it, it, it's an interesting thought exercise. Yeah, right. Wow. Very large avatar. All right. Bye, all. Nice end.